Hey guys, Eddie the Magic Monk here. Last lesson we started calculating the brace for a wall and um, this wall right here, it didn't have any sort of obstacle and we could just put the brace wherever we wanted as long as it satisfied the criteria of theta being 37 to 53 degrees. Now I'm going to give you a wall with a window. So this is a wall with a window very badly drawn. Now, guess what? You can't put the dot brace wherever you want anymore. You can't just do that. You can't put a brace through the window. So what you can do is you can put a brace that just misses the window, right? Just misses the corner of the window and goes down to the bottom. So in order to do that, you need some measurements, right? So let's say the question is, so I have now provided some measurements for the uh, height of the wall and uh, how far the window is off the ground and how far the window is from the right. So using this information, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a brace that just misses the window and goes to the horizontal at the bottom. And we want to find out this angle to see whether it fits the prescribed uh, 37 to 53 degrees. Um, now this angle is actually the same size as this angle using a ge geometry rule that you would have learnt from earlier years of school and that was if you had a pair of parallel lines and you had a diagonal line going through the pair of parallel lines then the angle at the same position must be equal. These two angles must be equal. It's called corresponding angles are equal. So this angle is equal to this angle, which means we can use the smaller triangle here because this is a right angle triangle as well to figure out theta. So using the small triangle, we have theta, we have 1.1 meters, and that's the opposite. We have 1.4 meters is the adjacent. So how do we figure out theta? Let's use tangent equals opposite over adjacent. Tangent theta equals 1.1 over 1.4. So theta equals inverse tan bracket 1.1 over 1.4. So putting that in the calculator, uh, make sure it says degrees on your calculator and then you go inverse tan bracket 1.1 over 1.4 arc tan means inverse tan and then press equals and it says 38 degrees so 38 degrees uh, what was that 38 point something 38.16 degrees, round it to 2 dp. Okay, so this satisfies our prescribed requirement. If it doesn't, then you could always adjust the brace to bring it in to 37 and then carry on. But since it fits, we're happy with that. So we're now going to go to the big triangle which is this big one let me just draw that with a different color maybe so the big triangle right angle here so drawing that separately i have the longest brace let's call that h i have the angle now is 38.16 and I have the height of the wall, which is 2.5 meters. So using opposite hypotenuse, using sine theta, 
I have 2.5 over h. So rearranging that, h equals 2.5 over sine 38.16. And that should give me the answer. So I have 2.5 divided by sine 38.16. And what's the answer? 4.05 rounded to 2 dp. So it's 4.05 meters rounded to 2 dp. Two decimal places. And that is the answer to this question. Find the longest brace for this frame, right? The longest brace over here, h. Uh, it equals, uh, what was it? 4.05 meters. Okay, well, that's the end of the lesson. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.